Shout out. In this video, we're going to be discussing Emacs building completions, and by Emacs completions, I could be referring to completion stalls and user interfaces. Just a background, I've been relying on third party packages to emulate features that exist in other text editors. For instance, I've long used Vertigo, Corfu, and Orderless. And while I still recommend these packages, they're amazing. I became curious about what I can do with Emacs without depending on third party options. And in this setup that I'll be showcasing here, try to emulate the workflow that I had using the packages mentioned above. The catalyst that actually pushed me to try the building completions is the addition of the completion preview mode in Emacs 30, which I'm going to showcase to you right now. So after enabling completion preview mode, all you have to do is just start typing and it will provide the preview of the first completion available. And using this part here, you can also use it with org mode fly spell. Let's say if you are in org mode buffer and you want to start typing, you can just start typing and it will provide the complex, let's say, hyperlipoproteinemia, hyperlipoproteinemia. See? Now you can finally start spelling correctly. Now when it comes to mini buffer completions, by default, Emacs does not have enable any kind of vertical completions that a lot of users seem to like. Uh, but you can use the feed of vertical mode which comes built in with Emacs. And I find it to be really similar to vertical actually. I will show you just in a minute. And feed mode is an enhanced version of the I complete mode that emulates I do mode. Sometimes feed is also referred to as the fake I do mode. Fido. At least I hope it's pronounced Fido, anyways. To enable it, which you can see I have the enabled right now, just run Fido vertical mode. And you will have this really similar interface that a lot of users are used to by using IV or Vertigo. Now when it comes into completion styles, there's a plethora of them available and you can read about all of them in the manual. But the one that I actually enjoy the most personally is Flex. Flex provides fast like completions, which for example if you type Emacs, it will show you completion about having Emacs at the start, at the end, or even the middle of the completion. And even if you for even if you for you type a letter, make a type or something, again it will show you completions about that order of letters. Now, Emacs completion interface is actually quite unique, and that it does not have a pop up at point. Instead, when invoking completion at point. It generates an actual buffer which can apply any search function that you want in it. Let's just see that in action. Let's just go into that source block and let's just try the animate. You have the global preview mode that I showed before enabled, and we press Ctrl Meta I and search all the all available completions that you have, which you can select. And you can also apply any search function that you want, let's say Meta Execure or I search forward, let's go into string and let's test it out. Always want to have some animations in Emacs. Anyway, this is actually a quite different approach on how completions work because you can, let's say, message. If you have some function, some libraries that has a lot of options, you can just do a current with them and the one I did before is search for anything that has message box, select it, and use it. It can be quite different approach because it's actually limitless the amount of completions that you can use and search for. Now using all of them together I find this to be an improved, an improved workflow to what I was using before, at least for my personal needs. For example, let's say I'm typing completion preview, I have an auto completion function, but maybe that's not what I want. I can search here, I can run meta, I can I run search forward, I can run meta execure, anything else they want. Uh, let's say I don't know what this function does, I don't have its doc string, I just go into its definition and read from here and see how it relates to the rest of the functions library that I have. Now to end this video, my goal was to mostly inspire you to try out the default completions that come with the new version of Emacs because I believe the developers have done 
a really amazing job to shove everything together in a really unique way. And doing that, it will also make you appreciate what the third party packages are actually doing. That's it for this video and have a nice day. Kalisinecia.